Hi Leo and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for July 16th through July 31st, 2019. So I'm going to start off by pulling three cards to see the overall story for you guys regarding love and romance for these last two weeks of July. So let's see what we have, Leo. We have a supportive. We have Solo Journeys End. And we have Lust. Okay. So, Leo, um, whether you are single, dating, or coupled up, this is actually really good energy. Okay. Um, what I see going on here is definitely two people growing ever closer these last two weeks of July. A lot of passion between them, a lot of chemistry, um, and mutual equal support for each other, okay? So Leo, overall, is just an overall message for all of you, this looks very positive. Those of you single, it looks like somebody could be coming in and, um, you know, just kind of sweeping you off your feet, really being there for you. This could be a friend that's been there for a while and you guys are just going to take it to the next level. Those of you who have just kind of been dating somebody and not really um, committed, that could all end, okay? You could, um, well, that, no, I shouldn't say it like that. It, the being single could end. You guys could actually get committed, um, take things to the next level, okay? And then for those of you committed, it just looks like there's a lot of passion and chemistry going on between the two of you, um, you know, these last two weeks of July because this is my main card for singles, my main card for dating, no commitment, and then my main card for those who are committed, yet they all tell a story together for all of you. But Leo, um, across the board, regardless of your situation, it actually looks really good. Like there's improvement, there's growing closer, there's taking the next step, whatever that is for your personal relationship, okay? So let's pull some dice. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, we have the Hanged Man, we have the Stars, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so right off the bat, what I see is this Page of Swords turning into this Queen of Swords, okay? Um, and I say that because right here, Hanged Man, that is where we're blocked, we're delayed, a new perception must come into play, okay? But it does, Leo, with the stars. This new perception comes in, there's healing, there's wish fulfillment, there's a little bit of magic, okay? And so, basically, this could be where you guys, um, you know, so I'll break it out in the different scenarios. So, those of you single, this could be where you are meeting somebody, okay, these last two weeks of July, and it, here it is, it's starting out, but it moves very quickly, okay, and by the end of the month, it's like a full-blown relationship. You guys are very close to each other, probably committed, all right, or very close to being committed. Those of you who are just kind of dating a specific person, um, but you were not committed yet, I could see where one of you has been really hesitant on that, okay? Kind of holding back, not feeling quite ready, um, analyzing things, and boom, here's that shift and that change where we go from, hang, from you know, Page of Swords and Hangman into the Stars and the Queen of Swords. So, like, here's the transition where whoever was kind of holding back is now really on board, okay? and like let's get committed or let's finally move in with each other type of energy all right and now those of you who are committed to me this is where you guys were having some sort of impasse or um, lack of understanding or agreement okay and one of you is just really shifts perception and kind of gives in and like in that space like it it creates a different energy and it feels kind of magical and now we finally see eye to eye and we can agree and we can compromise which um, sparks some beautiful energy between the two of you it may reignite some passion um, chemistry this could be some makeup sex you know um, just depending on your personal situation. But overall, Leo, in regards to love and romance, regardless of your status, it looks very positive. Um, 
those singles out there like I said you could meet somebody and then you guys just hit it off like really fast and grow close quite quickly those of you who have been kind of dating somebody or maybe back and forth I really see that energy changing as well and um, somebody just getting on board and saying yeah I'm ready let's do this so let's pull some more cards Leo Alright, so we have true love, genuine connection, and we have thoughtful, the tender, gentle soul. Oh my gosh, Leo, look at how perfect that is. That's beautiful, okay? Again, those uh, Leos out there, you meet somebody new this last two weeks, or maybe you've recently just met somebody new, man, the connection just takes off. It's like you guys feel like you're meant to be together, okay? Those of you dating or just kind of back and forth with somebody, I'm telling you, whoever was on the outs, it's like they are coming into the realization of either that they really love you, or if it's you, Leo, you're realizing that you really love this person and you want to make it like real, or they want to make it real with you, okay? Um, I just see such sweet energy, and again, those of you committed, um, we love each other. Somebody's just going to shift their perception, and it's like where we weren't seeing eye to eye or disagreeing about something, like that's going to dissipate through somebody changing their mind, being very thoughtful, gentle, and compassionate towards their partner. Okay, so Leo, really beautiful. Like your reading is going much faster than the others because this is just like such nice energy. I like it. Um, not every reading is like this, you know. In fact, I think your weekly read that I gave was a little crazy, so um, I'm glad to see your romance is going just fine. And you know what? Actually, I'm glad that Spirit brought that up because, Leo, um, in your weekly, it was like there was gonna, there was chance for a lot of like miscommunication, misunderstanding, and so for those of you committed, I kind of do see that, but I see you overcoming that. So if that was, you know, a problem or an issue, um, you know, it's you're overcoming it. Um, we have some air energy in here, so it could be Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini for some of you. But in your weekly, I did see a strong Taurus connection. So if that means anything for you. Okay, we have the seven of thoughts, gaslighting, ghosting, ulterior motives. Ooh, here we have the queen of swords once again, but she is the divine feminine of thoughts in this deck. So, wow, you got that twice. Very strong air energy. Ten of thoughts, abandonment, betrayal, loss. And lastly, Nine of Roses, um, Abundance, Independence, Luxury. Okay, yes. So, what I see going on here, Leo, is those of you coupled, you're over, this is what we're overcoming, this Seven of Thoughts. And again, to me, this just feels more like misunderstanding, somebody being stubborn, something along those lines, but finally like shifting their thoughts, shifting their mind, okay? Um, could you have that like here, here, and then here as well? So you have that like times three in your reading, and this divine feminine of thoughts, queen of swords, very strong, strong air energy in um, Leo's reading. But with this, the ten of thoughts, like the abandonment, what I feel is we're abandoning Whatever the past is, whatever the disagreement, misunderstanding, impasse, whatever that is, we're abandoning that to come back into, you know, the abundance of our connection that we share. So, Leo, you guys are those committed. You're really overcoming something here these last two weeks, and it only makes you guys stronger for it, okay? And it, like, reignites some passion um, within the relationship, and it's like you're thriving once again because the connection is true and real, all right? Um, those of you who are single or kind of dating somebody, 
I feel this right here, the abandonment is like you're leaving behind your singlehood status, the dating games, you know, uh, either one of you were kind of playing games with each other, like that's all becoming a thing of the past, and everybody's getting real and honest and true, okay, and we're communicating, and we're coming to decisions of like, let's work this out, or let's be together, let's go to the next level, whatever it is for you personally, Leo, in, um, your current situation and I'm just gonna pull a few more cards just because your guys' reading ran way shorter than the others let's see get some more clarity about this right here and you know what Leo I feel like some of you this could actually be just because of this right here and this this could be for some of you where you and another person like separated, broke up, whatever, and like there's, we haven't talked, like there's been a lot of distance. You guys could actually be coming back together and this time around you guys are both this Queen of Swords rather than one person being the Page of Swords and the other person showing us the Queen of Swords. It's like um, a balance of energy, like you both are finally ready to be in this relationship okay yeah because look at the full new emotions new cycle new path yep leo um this just confirms all i've said um some singles this is that new relationship coming in where it's quick um, those of you dating somebody or potential um, ex coming back in, here's your new path and we get committed and we're moving forward. Those of you already in existing, again, we're leaving behind some heavy energy and both deciding to make the relationship work, to put energy and effort into the relationship equally. And yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> Funny that I was getting that message of a return as I was shuffling these again because look at here, six of emotions, longing, nostalgia, return. So some of you, there is an ex of the past um, that I feel you're going to reconnect with and you guys are both grown quite a bit coming through as the Queen of Swords and the conversation I feel is going to be really honest, open and vulnerable and you guys are going to make a decision to leave the past behind. Whatever happened in the past is the past because you both recognize the potential of what you could be together. And look at this exciting or sensual rendezvous. So we like that. There's that passion and that chemistry um, that I've been talking about and woo, even more stimulating messages or desires revealed. Yeah. Leo, um, this is good stuff across the board, okay? Regardless, new relationships coming in, it, you guys are just going to hit it off really quickly, Leo. And I would say by the end of July, you guys are committed to each other, okay? Um, and this, I mean, somebody single, this person coming in could be a returning ex, okay? Um, those of you kind of dating somebody, I do feel that you guys are going to, you know, take things to the next level. You really are. And um, whatever the hang-up was, it's like you're leaving that behind. Again, this could be an ex returning for you guys as well. And then lastly, over here with committed, um, I just, with this return, I just see you guys returning back to this Nine of Roses energy where you guys are in flow. You're loving each other. There's passion. There's chemistry. All is well. So, Leo, the next two weeks romantically look fantastic for you guys regardless of your status okay so those are your messages leo i am wishing you all the best take care